Hello, so today I'm going to be doing some more interior work. First thing today, I'm going to have a good clean up because it's all very uh, uh, dusty. Uh, where do we start? Uh, probably over here. Shouldn't have let it get this dusty really. I should have covered things up, shouldn't I? Silly me. So uh, I've basically gone round here and just cleaned everything and wiped it over. The Hoover I've got is pretty crap. The um, <clears throat> there's no power here, so I have to use a generator, which is only a thousand watts, so it won't do my normal home Hoover. Um, and I couldn't find a cheap enough low wattage one, so I brought this, but it was pretty rubbish for this. But uh, so I had to wipe most of it. But I've been round now, wipe most of it. I've taken these covers off. I'm going to take those home. I should paint these at some stage very soon as well so they turn out like those um, I've also taken the carpet up at the front I'm going to start taking the carpet here but I just wanted to have a look and see what's under there and you can see it's starting to gather bilge water under here which is ugh, disgusting um, you can see it's coming through a bit in here uh, so I can feel a bilge pump coming on I know there's one in the outside engine area but I don't think there's one in here uh, although it does make me wonder how they've managed to keep the bilge water down um, unless they've manually done it every now and again um, so I shall probably put a bilge pump in here and here very sometime very soon um, but yeah that's what it looks like under there yuck that's the rest of the carpet taken up. Um, I'm actually going to take that home, see if I can re reuse it, clean it up, maybe rinse it in the bath, I don't know. Uh, but at worst I can use it for templates, um, for some new flooring. Um, the rest of this looks okay. This bit, when I put it back down, I can see it's sort of a bit weak here, it's sort of it's cracking just in that corner there. So I may manufacture a new piece for this or we'll put some more support under there or something uh, we'll see but uh, yeah that's the rest of it up these boards aren't quite so easy to get up so I'm going to leave them be for now I'm sure there's only uh, more bilge water under there anyway so, so I've cleaned now to a point where I'm relatively dust free I haven't done the front bit but I've sort of given this a wipe over here and just got the dust off it this I'll do a bit more uh, hardcore cleaning on um, when I've uh, when I'm ready to to do that bit. But for now, the rest of this is all, is sort of dust free. Uh, I'm going to apart from this side. I'm going to leave this for now, um, and then I think just just because of the space, really. I suppose I could put some stuff in. In the cupboards, we'll see. Oh, still got an old microwave in there. Uh, maybe we'll see. But I think I'm going to start uh, a little bit of varnishing soon. Um, get a first coat on and see see what it's going to start to look like. Uh, so I've cleaned that up a little bit and uh, sanded the uh, the wood down a bit. Uh, I'll just turn the heat around just to dry this bit out a bit. It was a little bit. A little bit damp in there so if the next uh, uh, clip after this one is me running around with a fire extinguisher you know why so I'm now gonna put a first coat of varnish on as many areas as I can get done today um, and to see how it looks really um, I've sanded everywhere and I've gone over again with a finer um, sandpaper just over the top of everything lightly just to sort of smooth it down a bit so I normally go for three coats of varnish uh, so I'll do a first coat and then I sand in between them 
do the first coat and hopefully that will improve things um, a little bit. I think I'll start the varnishing over here and then I can move all this other stuff over there out the way and do the rest of it. That's the front bit varnish, first coat on. Looks so much nicer already. Uh, I've done round these corners as well. So I'm going to see how much more I can get done today and I'll start round this side and uh, do this unit I think first and see if maybe we can get at least get to the end of here. That'll be good. Okay, so that's the first coat now on this side done. Um, I've gone as far as that and draw a line, drawing a line at the door there. I'm obviously I'm going to do the bits in the cockpit, but not just now. So yeah, uh, that's it. I've sort of drawn a line there. I haven't done this side yet. Um, I've, run, I've run out of time today, so I'll do that another day. Uh, I need to get some more varnish as well. But this side's looking a lot better. Um, I've done just the inside, just the door here. Um, I'm going to do the inside as a separate piece once the sort of the outer part's done. Um, but yeah, even now it looks so much better. Um, I've got these pieces as well done. I've done one coat on the trims here, which I've actually brought with me. So next time round, I'm going to put those back on and then I should just varnish them as one one piece, I think. Uh, same with these bits. I'm actually going to do those um, here separately so I don't get it on all this. Um, but yes, yeah, so so I'm quite happy with that. So this... Uh, uh, sink unit here. I think I'm still going to replace this. Um, it's just it, it costs quite a lot of money, so uh, I have to save my pennies for that. It's probably going to be about 400 quid for, to do that to what I want. Um, so I'll get everything else here done first, and then I'll look at that again, uh, see whether it actually works and that kind of thing. I don't think it's connected, um, but we'll see. Uh, I've also taken the rest of the lining down from the sides here and I took that front bit down just pulled it very easily came off but the actual uh, the whole um, front piece has collapsed there so that wasn't obviously wasn't held up by much so um, I just have to put that back on but I should probably keep that bit because it's quite nice underneath but if it has come off I can probably actually take that out and give it a really good clean rather than uh, rather than having to lay under there we'll see uh, that's for another day that's it for today